and y'all there's a gnat in here that is flying around and I don't know how to kill him he keeps landing on my light and I be trying to talk over him but um oh there he go y'all i'm back hey guys it's me dot and i'm back with another video back with another video so i know it's just been such a long time and i know you guys miss me so much it's fine i get like that too about me but i'm back and this video is gonna be really fun because this time i'm featuring korea botanicals so today I will be doing a wash and go. I'm gonna show y'all, I'm getting better, I'm getting better. I will be doing a wash and go with the full line of Korea Botanicals high porosity products. So, without further ado, we might as well get on in this video. My hair is all wrapped up because I've already washed my hair. And so before I take it out, I'm gonna just tell you guys about some of the stuff I did before. I deep conditioned my hair with the Korea Botanicals deep treatment mask, high porosity, look at that, mm-hmm. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It's not working. But it says deep treatment mask. So, just know that. And then, and then I washed my hair. I washed my deep conditioner out and washed my hair with this high porosity cleansing conditioner from the same line. Um, the deep conditioner I really love. I think it's so moisturizing. And every time I use it, my curls just kind of come back to life, you know. And that's what I be needing. It's a little life. Because they be a little dry sometimes most of the time but yeah the deep treatment mask it smells so good first of all everything from the line smells good it all smells the same which is really interesting to me how do they get the exact same smell in every product in the same way i don't know but it just really brought my curls back to life there's some really good slip and so i just really like the deep conditioner now let's talk about this cleansing conditioner i am definitely a shampoo girl and um, I enjoy a nice lather. And so this cleansing conditioner is sulfate free, which you know, it's not bad. Um, it has a pH of six, but I needed it to lather. I didn't feel like I was getting what I wanted because it wasn't lathering. And that could very well be a mental thing because I will say it is pretty moisturizing. It's a conditioner, so it's really moisturizing, but I was looking for a lather of some sort even just a little bit would have been fine with me but it's fine i also didn't like really that this was in a pump like this because like a lotion bottle pump because it's kind of hard to get out <laughs> when you're trying to when your hands wet and you're trying to it's hard to get out and i just need the scoop or something you know anyway we're gonna move on now that those are out the way i deep condition like i said i deep conditioned my hair last night i washed it today rinsed the deep conditioner out with the cleansing conditioner and after before i put this leave in because i'm about to put the leave in now i put all this oil on my hair before i left the shower and i've never done that before but i used this oil for um previously before this video i used this oil to do some mini twists and it was bomb and i really like what it just did to my hair just now when i got out of the shower so i'm really a fan of this oil so now let's get to this wash and go and see what happened hmm as of right now, there's nothing on my hair but the oil, by the way. So, where's my spray bottle? Dropped it. Yeah, there's nothing on my hair but the oil right now. And um, I'm just going to jump right in with the leave-in, to be honest, because... Okay, wait. y'all okay i need y'all to comment below for me one thing because i need to know who on my side do y'all prefer to spray your hair with the spray bottle or put your head in the sink because me dot i like to just stick my head in the sink because this spray bottle is too much honey i'm gonna be sitting here forever trying to get my hair wet it's just not working so you guys have seen me talk about Crib botanicals leave-in uh, before and that's because I've been using it before <laughs> it was the only product from the line that I had 
and um, it's such a great conditioner such a great conditioner but um that's why it's almost gone and uh yeah it's just a really good leave-in and very moisturizing it has amazing slip easy to detangle with it's just so i just want to give y'all an update on how my hair looks with the leave-in in it I'm really able to just glide my fingers through my hair, which is very helpful when you have this much hair. Now, I think that I'm going to, usually I would go through and do all my leave-in and then go back through and do all my style, I mean, all my um, gel or something like that. But, um, to be honest, I'm not trying to be here that long. So, I'm going to just do leave-in and then whatever I'm going to do next. Which, it's a nice segue. Uh, styler. That I'm going to be using today is um, the Cree Botanicals High Porosity Styling Custard. I've actually used this custard before um, on a twist out, something like a twist out, and it was really good. So I'm curious to see how it does with a wash and go because wash and goes are a little different. And I'm telling you, y'all know my history with wash and goes and how we ain't cool. So, and I'm a little scared right now. I'm a little. I don't know because I'm not going to be using a gel and I, I need a gel. I need a gel. From what I used for it before, it does kind of leave like a little cast. Not a bad one at all, but it just really defines um, your style. Like I said, my twist out came out good. So we're going to see how my, my natural curls do because they don't be wanting to participate. So we're going to see. I'm going to use about this much. And let's see what happens. Okay. Slip going crazy. All right. I'm feeling it. Mm. Uh, definition. Doing something interesting. That's for sure. Maybe I need some more water. Maybe. Or maybe I need some more product. It's definitely not as much definition as you would get with a gel, but um, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Let's keep moving. something it's still not doing as much as a gel would it's not a gel so I don't really expect it to but it's doing a little something I'm curious to know how it dries because that's where my problem always lies is in the drying but yeah I usually have most of my issues when it's drying so hopefully this dries fine like, I'm gonna leave finish up and then come back and show you guys what it's looking like before the dry try not to miss me too much while I'm gone <laughs> Whew. okay guys so I'm back and this is my hair I hope you guys were able to see that um what I'm a little nervous about again is this custard because I've never tried it in a wash and go. So like I said before, I don't, I just don't know about the kind of hold that it's going to have. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is get all my stuff together and wrap my head up so that I can go to sleep tonight. And then I'll update you guys in the morning of what it looks like. Hey guys, so I am back. And um, I didn't come back this morning because I actually had to run to work. So I couldn't really show you guys what it looked like as soon as I woke up this morning. But as soon as I woke up, I went in the bathroom and y'all, I honestly thought this was not going to come out right. I was a little scared for a second there because um, just 
the styler and the conditioner I guess the way they mix together something like that kind of left my hair with little little white balls and stuff while it was still wet not they weren't white balls but it was still my hair was still white you could see the product still and I was just like mm, I don't know morning I didn't really have time to dry it anymore so I kind of had to leave and let it air dry but it didn't take very long for the white for the product to leave at all for the product to soak in and um, honestly it's so soft my hair is so very soft right now and um, although I don't feel like I got as much definition as I would with gel still because hold on let me give you guys you know a look yeah so although I did I definitely didn't get as much definition it is very soft and moisturized yeah so another thing that I noticed about these products are I really like them all individually and my all-time top fave out of the whole thing is the leave-in I would use the leave-in all the time it doesn't matter whenever the leave-in is bomb but everything else I would use definitely individually together as a whole on a wash and go I uh, I don't know how to feel but the oil by itself absolutely my mini twists were fire um the styler by itself um fire on my twist out <laughs> like what the cleansing conditioner was really good the deep conditioner is amazing so i mean i would use all of them individually but together i don't know i don't think it turned out that bad though let me know what you think in the comments so with that being said i got a little surprise for y'all I'm doing a giveaway I'm doing a giveaway of some Korea Botanicals products and you know just a little I might throw a little something something in there with you know with it just to spice it up a little bit but if you guys are interested in this giveaway make sure you're staying tuned on my Instagram follow me at dot com so you can get some products make sure you subscribe to my channel because that is definitely one of the requirements for you to subscribe so you might as well go ahead and check that off right now <laughs> and then right after you leave this video go on my instagram look for that post because ah, i'm about to give it away thank you guys for watching this video though <laughs> if you stay to the end you are definitely the bomb.com and i will see you guys in the next video bye